Welcome back. Today we're going to use some uh, sweet potatoes that we have left over and we're going to use them to make gnocchi. We have a uh, sweet potato which has been baked. Peel the skin right off the potato. Let's just cut this end off here. Put this potato right into our food processor. Add a roughly equal amount of flour. Uh, this looks like that potato is about a quarter of a cup. So process this until it has a consistency of couscous. That will take just a few seconds. It's a little bit wet, so we're going to add a little bit more flour. A tablespoon or so. Oh, this is great. All right. We'll take a handful. We're going to form it into a tube. Let's lightly flour our board here. There's kind of a basic way of doing it, which is simply cutting it. Use a dull knife. You don't want to use a sharp knife. So you want it to compress the dough a little bit so that it forms kind of a little pillow shape rather than just a, uh, a round shape. You could just cook the uh, gnocchi like that. Another way to form the gnocchi, after you've cut it, you can form it into a ball and then just with your thumb what you can do is you can press on it and just roll it like that you'll get a little pillow of pasta with a depression in the middle if you really want it to capture the sauce you can do it like that another way you can make gnocchi form it into little balls like that you can take a fork and you'll just kind of press with a fork and roll it just like you did with your thumb, you'll see those little depressions. We're going to let these uh, just rest for a second. We, we could cook them right now, but I want to make a quick um, sauce. And I'm going to use a microwave. Take some butter, maybe a tablespoon of butter there, maybe a teaspoon of olive oil. Get some garlic here and just separate that out. We'll chop that up. Put that right in there. Pop this in the microwave for 30 seconds. We have some water boiling and we're just going to put these guys right in. These will cook pretty quickly. Probably in like two minutes in the boiling water. When these are cooked, grind some flavoring in here. This is everyday seasoning, pepper, garlic, and a little bit of salt. The sauce is done, so let's take a look at that. Give that a little mix. When you first put the gnocchi in, it'll sink to the bottom. And when it's cooked, it floats to the top. So it is done. And I'm just going to put these right in here. Mix those in. Oh, well, you know what else we could put in? Parsley. Just sprinkle that on there. Oh, that looks good. Hmm. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.